Hey there! Today I'm going to do something that I have not done before because there never was any reason and yet now I have a reason to do something like this. Today I'm going to revise my opinion on a fountain pen. And that pen is the Nubler's Conrad. Okay. Before I do so, I want to tell you a little bit about my reviews. All of these reviews, and all of the pens I review in them, are dear to me. Whether they cost four dollars or four hundred dollars doesn't matter to me. I try to be honest, I try to be unbiased, and most importantly, I try as objectively as I can to bring out the highlights of every pen I review. And for some pens, that's more difficult than for other pens. But I never, ever actively try to burn down a pen. Okay? Right. On to the, nude, the, the Noodler's Conrad. I love Noodler's. I think I have emphasized that in many of my previous videos. I love the original flex pens with the, the small piston fillers. I absolutely love the Ahab. I like the rollerball pens. I like the aerometric pen. I love Noodler's. When I do calligraphy, I do it with Noodler's X Feather. It's that simple. I love the brand. Yes, we have Bay State Blue and blah blah blah, but today I'm talking about their pens. And I love their pens. Now the Conrad I had issues with. It's that simple. I had issues with my Conrad. Maybe you didn't with yours, but I did with mine. Some of these issues I resolved, and others I did not resolve. What did I not resolve? Well, I still think that the threads on my Conrad are pretty deep down into the cap. If I align them, I get something like this, which means there simply isn't a lot of space between the end of the cap and the top of the nib. So if you're not careful, like me, you can ruin your nib, like me. Now, the beauty of noodlers is that their stuff is pretty robust, so I could you know, bend the nib back into place again. And it was a bit scratchy after that. Now, I tried to smooth it prior to my shootout video, and I thought I succeeded. I really did. And then I did the shootout, and the pen skipped a lot, and it railroaded a lot. Maybe that was my fault. I don't know. I think I pointed that out during the video, that it may very well have been my fault. As I said, I really try to bring out the highlights of each pen. I don't try to bash down on them. So, someone recommended a very good article to me. And she is more knowledgeable of fountain pens than I am. This article, Smoothing Scratchy Nibs, which you can download for free on nibs.com. Uh, this is written by John Mottishaw, a nib meister. It's, uh, you can download it nibs.com slash article6.html, which you can probably find a link on the site. Uh, it, it tells you how to smooth the nib, and it's that simple. Now, I'm not going to show you how I did that, because you need a high-powered magnification glass, etc. I, I mean, it's, forget about that. I really had a really good look, based on this guy's recommendations, and he knows his cookies. He knows what he's talking about. I checked out the, the, the alignment of my tines, and they were not aligned properly my mistake. I corrected that, then he tells you how to smooth the nib, I used some micro mesh, but I also I started out with some buff sticks, you probably know this type of stuff. Uh, I think you use it for nails, usually, but we, being fountain pen people, of course, use them for nibs. And now, I have a Conrad with a very smooth nib. It railroads, occasionally, and it skips, occasionally, as does my Ahab, as does my regular piston filler flex by Noodlers. You know, they do it. And, as do some of my way more expensive fountain pens. Alright. 
The other thing. I told you about the issue that's not resolved. The threads remain in there pretty deeply. So I tried to find an optimal feed position. And I did. I can't really show you that, but what it boils down to is that if you take a look at the ink window, then for this specific pen, the ideal setting seemed to push in the feed a bit further than I would usually do, and I could see it through the ink window. I don't really like that from an aesthetic point of view, but I don't really care either. I did that, and I put in the nib, try to push it in as far as I can, not too far, just far enough. I fill around with this a lot, yeah? So this took me a morning, okay? One morning of work, and now it works. So the, the issue I had in the shootout video, where the, the feed actually touched the paper, is resolved. Another issue is solved. Okay. So what next? Well, two things. I will add a link to this video, to my shootout, and to my review of the Conrad. Because I want people to know that I have revised my opinion. You are forewarned about the threads in the cap. Maybe that's going to be resolved in the future. You know, if you're careful, it shouldn't be a problem. The pen writes smoothly. I think I already emphasized in the shootout that it does write smoothly. It didn't write all the time there, but when it did, it was smooth. So, there you have it. I'm going to show you how the pen writes now. You can compare that to the writing samples in the shootout or in the review, and I think you'll agree that the pen has improved. Not all pens will require such a tune-up. Some pens do. Some expensive pens do too, but noodleless pens are inexpensive, and that's why I like them. I also like the fact that you can disassemble them to maintain them yourselves. I like the fact that you can get a flex pen for $20. All of these things I like, and I like the Conrad. And if I gave the impression that I didn't like it, then that was not my intention. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Opinion revised. So I hope this was useful. Take a look at the writing sample, see if you agree, and then um, that's all there's to it. I am only trying to be honest, you know. So that's it, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here I go, yet again, writing with the Noodler's Conrad. I'm not flexing now. The line has gotten a bit thinner than it used to be. Uh, maybe that's because of the positioning of the nib or because I, I smoothed it a bit. I'm not absolutely sure, but it, I, I do kind of like it this way. Uh, this is somewhat more reminiscent of the line my Ahab nib uh, draws. Okay, so if we flex, I now get some flex, which is most definitely comparable to that of my Ahab. And the sharpness of the nib seems to have disappeared because of my smoothing. Also, something I had in my earlier video was touching the paper with the feed. And that gave... I can't do it now because I readjusted the, the, the position of the feed. Uh, but that gave some very wide, ugly black lines. Well, that is no longer a problem either. Even when I hold the pen at this very steep angle, there is just the nib touching the paper and not the feed. So, I did that pretty quickly, and the reason for that was that when you flex the nibs, it's fairly likely that you will get railroading, like that. However, I think, actually, the Conrad is doing a pretty good job. I'm flexing this pen pretty much right now, and I'm writing this fairly quickly, and yet it keeps going. Now we have the railroading, but after all of these lines, which uses up a lot of ink, and this really stresses the feed, but as you can see, it's actually doing a very good job. So, I didn't feel guilty, and I still believe that the review I did earlier and the shootout I did was as accurate as I could make it. I'm not trying to burn down the pen. 
but I want it to be honest. And as you can see now, the pen is doing just fine. So if you are willing to buy this pen and you're willing to, to fiddle around a bit with the feed and the nib, once again I think Noodlers gives us a very nice pen. This was uncapped for quite a while now and as you can see it wrote straight away. No stars or problems, nothing. Good flex, a very good feed, no problems. So with a bit of fiddling, I recommend this pen. I hope this was useful, not useful, useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye.